Hey guys, look at this amazing animation, this beautiful infographic. I hope you will really like it. So before moving further, hear from our sponsors, Envardo Elements. Envardo Elements provides you more than 32,000 PowerPoint templates here. And if you are more into Google Slides or Keynotes, again, the story is same. Here is the list of amazing PowerPoint templates that you can use. Just download, fill the content, change the images and start delivering your PowerPoint presentations. Envardo Elements is a creative library of not only just PowerPoint templates. If you need graphics, graphic templates, sound effects, music, video templates, stock videos, photo, font, add-ons. And if you are into websites, then WordPress templates, HTML templates, 3D work, CMS templates. And here you can see the list is endless. And one of the most important part of Envardo Elements are the Premiere Pro templates, which are really amazing. If you look here, these are some beautiful Premiere Pro templates, which you can use in your videos and enhance your videos to show different styles, intros, lower thirds, text, and you can show images in beautiful templates. So all this comes under a unique package of Envardo Elements subscription. All you need to do is just subscribe and enjoy unlimited downloads and if we talk about licensing the licensing is very simple it's just one simple commercial license for all of these items so you can subscribe to Envardo elements now and get unlimited downloads all you need to do is just click on the link provided in the video description and get this amazing subscription so let's begin with the tutorial so we have to pick this shape and flip it like vertically and slightly change its angle and this is how it should look and you can slightly increase its size and now let's change its color so go to gradient and gradient always looks good so we need two gradient stops at the bottom here you can see we have already placed this color palette and on both the gradient stops fill the same color And what we will do is we will change its tone with the help of these this option custom colors so we have moved this slider down and you can see the effect and then just duplicate this shape and make sure to remove the outline and flip it vertically you can do it from the rotate options so now we have these two shapes select both these shapes make sure these are aligned to center and group them together duplicate you can duplicate by pressing ctrl c and ctrl v then select the grouped item and change the rotation by 90 degrees now again we have to repeat the process again duplicate it by pressing ctrl c ctrl v or ctrl d and rotate by 45 degrees repeat the steps again and but this time we will do it in reverse again go to rotate more rotation options rotate by 135 degrees and this is the kind of infographic you will get now the next step is to change the colors and we have placed these colored circles at the bottom and you can always create such color palette if you have the colors or you can you know download any color scheme from the google images and you can place the color palette here by inserting these small circles and fill the color in it so this is how you can place these colors and on each of this shape you can fill the color from this color palette
So this is the last shape. Once this circular infographic is done, we will you know reuse it to create further shapes in this infographic. So now it's done. Just duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and make sure it is at the center and change to solid fill and fill black color slightly increase the transparency and slightly reduce the size by you know dragging it from the uh, corner while pressing shift and you can fit it inside this main infographic circle again duplicate it and slightly increase the size make sure it is at the center and change the color to white let's see how it looks So let me know in the comment section if this white color is looking fine or we can change the color. Now duplicate this outer infographic, the colored one and increase the size and fill white color and then increase the transparency and send to back. Make sure this layer is at the back. And also change the background color to black now we need something at the center and for that you need to duplicate it once again and place it at the center so you can always zoom in if you want to take a clear view of anything and and here I have filled dark color and reduce its size and adjust the transparency. Let's try white color first. Yes, this looks fine. Fill white color and increase the transparency. Now it looks really, you know, really beautiful. And again, duplicate this outer, the most outer layer and increase its size as you can see on the screen increase the transparency as well so that it's barely visible you can zoom out you know the what's the idea here the idea here is to animate this the outer layer with spin animation and ungroup this outer layer and select each shape and apply this glow effect and fill the same color and you can you know adjust its transparency so that the glow looks very natural and not very saturated similarly select the next layer and repeat the step you can always use this color palette at the bottom to fill the color and make sure the transparency level of the glow is at 87% So now it's the time for animation so you need to select this outer layer and go to add animation and apply this amazing spin animation but it is moving very fast so we have to go to this 
effects option under animation pane make sure it starts with previous and increase the duration like 8 or 10 seconds and repeat until end of the slide I think it's moving fast change it to like 18 seconds and see how it works and similarly you need to apply the spin animation on this smaller circle as well again change the duration to 18 seconds and I have slightly adjusted the height and width of this outer circle and I'm just checking what colors suits here again duplicate this colored infographic increase the size send to back and here remove its color and we only need the outline so no fill and solid line and change the line color to white and increase the transparency above like 75 percent so this gives it a very technology look and now let's create the text pointers And this is very easy so here you can see there are eight pointers this is a eight steps infographic so on the left side of this infographic we will place these four pointers and similarly on the right side we will place the four pointers and we will change the color scheme according to the color that we have filled in this infographic So similarly you can create the next text items so four will be placed on the left four on the right and you can always align and distribute these vertically align left distribute vertically so now you can group these together and let's move the color palette somewhere else so that we can select these items and now let's change the color as per the color scheme move this duplicated group on the right side and here you need to change the color as per the color scheme on the right side
Also, we need to change the color of these smaller infographics that we have placed next to the text and make sure it matches the color scheme. You can always use this eyedropper tool which is very handy in PowerPoint. And as you can see, designing this kind of slide is very easy and of course it will take some time for you if you are new to PowerPoint but if you if you know how to create things and you understand PowerPoint and the options you can definitely create this presentation in like 15 minutes this slide is very easy to design and you can you know create new concepts and styles based on this kind of design you just need to think and you need to imagine different styles you can always you know search online how to present the content and you can also learn more about complementary colors and then you can create these amazing diagrams and color schemes for your designs this will also look very beautiful on a white background or a very or a light gray background also decrease the transparency of this outer circle and now look at this this looks really amazing both the circles are spinning uh, in a counterclockwise direction the outer one is spinning at the clockwise direction now we need to fill few icons and and here you just need to place these icons it's very easy just adjust the size change the color to white and make sure to slightly increase the transparency of these icons so that it blends with the background And here you can see how easy it is to create such slide i hope you will like this slide so just download this from the g drive link and try to practice it and always look for new design concepts and understand the designs so this is the final output i hope you will like it please subscribe to our channel which is very important join the membership if you want to support us and like this video and share with your friends and do not forget to download it from the cheat drive link provided in the video description. And in the next video, we will learn something new, something amazing. Till then, enjoy.